it is the one of, if not the staples in Broadway reviews. It is considered to be the utmost benchmark for all new reviews, as well as one of the longest running reviews. And I believe if it's not the longest, it might be second in line for the most rant review. And coming up with uh, Nell Carter and uh, Andre De Shields and Amelia McQueen and uh, Charlene, Charlene Woodred and Ken Page, you know, it's just it's, it's so rich and and a time where African Americans weren't necessarily by themselves on Broadway or covering a specific topic. This was a this was really a capstone for African Americans on Broadway. It starts with his first style, which is 19. Hundreds, ragtime moving into the Tin Pan Alley, moving into that stride piano, and later on the 30s and 40s. But it is really a highlight of his well known hits, and it is true to the period. And I believe 90% of the music is his. There are a few that are not, but it is definitely his. It is rich with uh, American history, especially in the jazz form. Oh, talents but they are all local. We have Gail King, well-known jazz singer here in town. We have Greg Green who is our choreographer which has done cruise ships and things who is based here in Louisville and who also does a lot of work here in Louisville. We have Yvette Nichols and Tony Owens who's over at Derby Dinner quite a bit and Tamika Prince and she's new on the scene. She's a, a young one but she does a phenomenal job in the show. We have the incredible Harry Pickens. Harry Pickens is one of the best jazz pianists that we have around and he brings such spunk, such tenacity to the show. It is unreal. You have to come and see him. And though it is not in his normal jazz form, he plays so authentic to the stride piano that it is, it is remarkable. If you have not been down to the Kentucky Center to see Ain't Misbehaving, you are doing yourself an injustice. You need to come and see the Cotton Club in its heyday with wonderful performers who are local to support Music Theater of Louisville here at the Kentucky Center for the Arts.